what are you going to do? I mean, it, it happens. Like I said, he needs to heal flat out. And speaking of healing, Undertaker, he was come in to take his place. Undertaker is not in the greatest shape either. He's in better shape than he was. But he is coming in, folks, to take over to take over Sam Punk. He's like, let Sam Punk go take some time off, and I'll take over. And you know what? That's the sign of respect right there, that Taker knows that Punk needs the time off. And hey, let me help him out. He gave me a great match and stuff. He put me over. Let me help him out. And this, this I'm actually looking forward to the London match. You know, for the six man. Yeah, yeah, that, I think it's going to be yeah, phenomenal. That's definitely, yeah, I, you know, I can agree with that. I definitely agree with that. You know what this is, right? Oh, yeah. It's the push of the week, folks. Oh, yeah. Each week we're going to tell you that somebody that needs to get the push. So who are you pushing this week? I'm actually going to go with somebody that's from TNA, who's been with the business well, with TNA for a long time and has not been the TNA World Champion and I think deserves it. I'm going with Daniels. Oh, I Daniels. thought you were going to go with AJ on that. No, no. AJ's been champion. I respect yeah, the guy. Yeah, yeah, he's phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I want to see Daniels do something other than just be with Kaz and go for the tag team titles. Give the guy a chance. I think he can go over. I think he'll be a good champion. I don't see him thinking be a champion for a long period of time. Just because his wrestling ability doesn't add up to being a champion. The championship belt, I think, holds him back instead of pushing his talent out there. Me, personally, I'm going to go with a TNA guy. And I actually thought you were going to pick the one I was going to say. I was going to have to like punch you or something. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with Robbie E. And the reason why I go with Robbie E is this dude is phenomenal as entertaining. Okay, You can entertain a crowd. He knows how to work. And this is the only guy out of the whole TNA roster that promotes himself 24-7 on all the social media. This guy, if he was pushed, he was a main, I don't know, a world champion for so long as well, yeah. but if they had him up there as the you know, main event and stuff, he would sell, he would get the crowd over, because he, he's the open match for all the house shows to get over, and it would definitely help the company. I don't even, honestly, was he not impact? I didn't even see him come out. He was, he really he was, yeah, he was with Rob Terry in his view, and now all of a sudden, yep. Yep. it's like, what, is he the next Pope D'Angelo Janelle, they're going to make him sit there and do nothing? Yeah, no. <laughs> this shit's funny. Anyway, get back to some uh, good old WWE. I want to talk about the Intercontinental Championship that Miz did have, and then he had to lose it. Um, much of anybody really knows about it, but Miz is, he's on the injured side, but he's also, he's also out and he's going to be making a, a new ABC uh, Christmas film, I believe it is. Yeah, it's going to be on the ABC network. I think it's going to be a really good, especially that he was just at Foley's Christmas book. So it kind of goes back to back. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, I like I, the Miz. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I think he does a good job. I'm mean, a lot better than a lot of the people we got right now. <laughs> well, you just don't like it The Miz is actually hurt on injury and stuff, um, so you know, we hope you get better soon. Yeah, get well soon, um, man. We want you back. Definitely. But you know what? I got to talk about I talked about this a little bit last week. We're going to talk about this week. Bon, don, go. Wait. Don, don, go. I'm really happy with that microphone. Uh, oh, yeah. I can't oh. wait. Little. Anyway. Told you I was going to pop you. Anyway. Told you, folks. This <laughs> band dangling is everywhere. Wait, wait. I thought it was fun down going. Maybe it's that too. <laughs> Whatever. It is. It's phenomenal all over the internet world. People are tweeting about it, people are YouTubing this. Um, I, if I can remember it correctly off the top of my head, I think it was number two or so was downloaded right. in the US, three in Canada, no, three in the UK, I think it was either four or five in Canada, and then in two other places he was seven and ten. Well, Wrestler's Beam song is phenomenal. This is the new like, YMCA. I don't Aquarina. think this has really ever happened like this. In all honesty, I really don't think this is weird. I, mean, I think WWE was going to give him a big push right. because of the, the whole back 90, 92, 93 big display with the lights, the dances. I think they were going to give him a good push, but this right here just made him an instant star overnight. And he really has to thank the crowd back in Jersey. Oh, because God, yeah. that crowd was the one that hummed the song and made the song something. And he put the little dance to it because he don't do that dance at all. No, you know, <laughs> no, 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 no definitely not. Anyway, and he, he's just like a phenomenal athlete, and, and, and it's like he knows like, how it works. It's like you mentioned that I fall right behind you. He's the next continental champion. They need to strap him. Oh yeah. Well, you're speaking about that, I got a bone to pick with Austin. Oh yeah, boy. You know, everybody's gonna say you got a bone to pick with Baldy, but a I got longer hair than you, so I'm better. But two, no. Um, but two, <laughs> you went on Twitter the other day. I think it was like Friday or Saturday. And you said that Pandango uh, was going to be the next Intercontinental Champion. We give it like six months to eight months. Mock his words, and he's the first one to say it. 
Austin, I know you probably missed last week's show. I know you tune in every week. So you missed last week's show. But on Wednesday, I said it. I quoted it. I said it first. Wednesday, two days before you. So you can mark the calendar. The official wrestling is going to be Oh, here we go. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. Did you get that, folks? You got that, folks. But one of the great items, uh, great things about this museum is the items that we have, and we have feature items each and every week. And these are the items that we have this week on the table. We have the Adrenaline Line Series 11 with Paul Heyman and Heidenreich. It was a great two-pack to pick up and find. It's followed by Ruthless Aggression Ring Rage Series 8.5, the A-Train figure, followed by the classic Superstar figure of the Undertaker from Series 1. We're going to go over to the Randy Orton Deluxe Aggression Series 1 action figure. We also got, uh, where are we now, Series, uh, the Mattel 2003, uh, 13, sorry, line number 2 figure of CM Punk. We have the Evan Bourne Series 1 Mattel figure, belt number 337 of 1000. We also have the Road Dog figure. He's in a Backlash yellow box. These are boxes that were exclusive to KB Toys. These are like the reject figures that they didn't put out in lines and they yeah, 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 yeah. And we have the draft series five figure of Billy Gunn. It was eleven thousand two hundred and fifty made of them. And our feature item of the week that was signed back in Boston last week. It was from Primo and Epico. It was a battle pack figures. Epico and Primo. Um, they signed, it was pretty cool. Thank you guys for signing that for the official yeah, round yeah. These are items that are gonna be on the museum and speaking about figures. We got um, a couple of times a, uh, a month. We're going to talk about upcoming figure lines. We got some great oh, lines to talk oh, about. Oh yeah, right definitely. Now. Here's one. Here's a really good one with a classic title for you guys. You might want to get it. Ringside exclusive elite cane with a hot foot title. When I seen that, I <laughs> like it. The figure itself, it, it's a nice figure, and the hot foot title looks nice. It's just, it looks like there's a lot of empty room in the box. That's the only thing I don't like. Mm -hmm. What I thought was kind of funny is we just got them to add on to our hot foot title for the museum. And now they came out with the exclusive with the hot clothes. I'm like, yeah, oh, wow, exactly. look at that time, folks. But yeah, definitely pick that up if you guys get a chance to go out and look for it. Then we have the Battle Pack 23 2 pack with Kofi and Ray, Cody and Sin Cara, and then CM Punk and Vince. I think that's going to be a nice two What? CM Punk with Vince? I, yep. I want, yeah, we got to get that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And then we also have the WWE Basic Series 31, Rosa Mendes. Alberto Del Rio, Kofi Kingston, Our Truth, Zack Ryder, and Kane. So this is Rosie's first. Uh, that's her first figure too. So that's going to be a rare one to get. That's that, that's a definitely <laughs> want to get, folks. Get yeah, we have that. TNA Deluxe Impact Series Nine. That's already out that you can pick up right now. Christopher Daniels, Eric Young. That comes with one half the uh, tag team, the knockout tag team titles. Mm -hmm. uh, Rue, Magnus, Devon, and Gail Kim. Series 10 that came out was Miss Test Market, Crimson, Robbie T, Avi D, and Kurt Angle. Now, the series was originally supposed to be Hernandez, Crimson, Kaz, uh, Chris Saban, Bully Ray, and Tara. So things changed up. So we do have series 11 or 14 to tell you guys. It could be very much that some of these figures could get changed because these things weren't in yet. Speaking of changes, I cut you off, but real quick, is it po isn't it possible that that could be the last RVD TNA figure considering he might possibly go with WWE? Well, po well, from what I heard, that he did actually sign the contract with TNA. He signed a two-year contract. Mm -hmm. They're waiting to bring him in and everything. So it could be, but I also heard um, that they do have another two-pack plan for RVD. Oh, come out. Yeah. I don't know if that's right. true. Yeah, well, so we'll wait and see. <laughs> the next four, you know, four series that we have here, if you know they switch them up the whole against us, we're just going by right. what they said because series ten was supposed to be something else. Anyway, series <laughs> eleven is AJ Styles, Robbie, Samoa Joe, Doug Williams, Gene Storm, and Tara. Series twelve is Zima Ion, Austin Aries, Gunner, Mr. Anderson, Mickey James, and Sting with the Joker face. Series thirteen, Chavo Guerrero, Kid Cash, Kurt Angle, Garrick Bischoff, Madison Ray. And the legend figure of Scott Steiner, they're calling it the classic. Oh, oh, oh. That in 14, we've got Root again with Daniels. We've got Jesse Sorensen, King Mo, ODB with the one half of the knockout tag titles. And the classic legend of Jim Cornette. So there's a lot of good figures that they haven't had out yet. There's a lot of good legends that they got coming. Um, so hopefully they actually at least keep these figures that they had planned for it. You know, and they can go from there. Now, each and every week we do do a contest here. Make sure you guys send in because tons and tons of people win. Billy just won it last week. You can win it this week. This week's picture is right here. Check it out. Make sure you send your guests in to showproevents at hotmail.com. You can tweet your guests. You can Facebook the guests. 
Make sure you do all that. Send your questions in for the Q&A show for this Saturday. Get your guesses in for this because the winner this week is going to get a special signed item from this person. Um, the item we can't say because they're really giving away. Yeah, we yeah, are yeah. going to be giving out a hit on the Q&A show and we are going to be giving out hits on Twitter throughout the week and Facebook. So make sure you follow us. But that picture, honestly, when I look at it from here, it, it, especially with the color and everything, it, it's like, wow, do I know who that is? <laughs> I think you can kind of tell by it, but you know, of course, I know who's in this picture yeah. this week because they started talking to me about the hit last week and all that stuff. But anyway, make sure you send in the picture. You, like I said, you can friend us on Facebook at facebook.com slash official wrestling museum. Follow us on Twitter at Twitter, uh, wrestling underscore museum. Just drop the G. Subscribe to us on YouTube uh, at wrestling museum. Send your questions in. Thank you guys once again. I'm going to prayers. It goes out to the victims yeah. and everybody that can hurt in Boston. God bless you. Make sure you guys tune in for this Saturday for the Q&A show from all the Thank you guys very much. You guys have a great night. Take care.